What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a massive action figure video and it is on our massive horror action figure weapons collection. This is a video that we actually skipped over last year, but we are back this year to celebrate the month of October on the channel. We're back with our massive horror action figure collection video, man. Should be a great one. We have a ton of new weapons from the last few years. It's going to be an updated video. We got some epic stuff to get through. NECA is always knocking it out of the park with all of their assortment of weapons, man. I mean, we have all kinds of... There's a lot of blades here, man. We got a lot of blood, we got some blades, we got guns. I mean, there are so many things going on here, man. So with that being said, let's dive into everything. We're going to go one by one through each individual weapon, showcase it, and I'll try to give you a little bit of background knowledge about it. I don't think I can remember every single weapon and what it came with, but I will definitely do my best to try and uh, get some information out there, I guess. But let's dive into it, man. Let's start things off with our first weapon. Also to add, there's a lot of weapons that are not in front of the camera right now, so you're, you'll see those at the end, and then we'll probably pile them all up at the end of the video. All right, man, let's start things off with with this. And this is, uh, I don't even know the actual term for this weapon, or what the name, or uh, like the official name of this equipment is, but it's basically a weed eater with a saw blade on the end. And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use this to take down small trees and things of that nature. And this is from Friday the 13th Part 7, which is personally my favorite design of Jason, and probably, I don't think it's my favorite Friday the 13th movie, but I, I, I hold it close to the heart. Next up, we have this spear right here, and I had to back up the camera a little bit just so we could get it, man. This thing's pretty long. I'd say it's probably six inches or so. I mean, it's pretty big. You guys can see the spike at the end as well. Next up, we have a standard kitchen knife. Nothing too crazy, but it's literally just your just run-of-the-mill kitchen knife. Multiple horror icons rocking this look, but nothing too, too special about this one. Just a regular knife. Next up, we have this nice shovel accessory. It's got a really nice wood grain to it, too. You got that brown. You got the silver in there. Nice shovel. That dry brushing over the gunmetal gray right here is just really nice. Gives it a lot of realistic tones. Next up, we have this spike, and I don't know if this is a railroad spike or what, but it is this, this gigantic spike that's got some nice tones to it as well. Got very similar to the shovel we just saw, but it's got a nice point to it. Could probably actually impale yourself if you're not too careful with it, but this is a nice one. Next up is the bloody pitchfork. You guys can see there it's got like some different blood patterns on it and stuff like that. Again, nice on the wood handle. It's got a little scoop to it as well, but anybody ever worked in a garden or worked outside, you've probably used a pitchfork a time or two. Next up is a really cool one. We have this pickaxe. Now, I do think this came with the My Bloody Valentine minor figure. It's like the ultimate minor figure. I think this is this specific pickaxe, but this has a nice dark tone to it and it's got the, again good wood grain very realistic it's almost like this video has turned into more of like every piece of outdoor equipment that i own because i mean we have another shovel here but it's got a little handle on it and again very nice shape to it good size more of a smaller shovel not as big as the last shovel we just saw but it's got you know you even got the dirt in there and everything next up we have the giant blade from pyramid head i do believe is what this is this came with the figma pyramid head it's got a very nice texture to it and everything like that that gar that figure pretty cool weapon of choice right here. Thing would be massive in real life though. This is just scaled down. Next up is this gigantic axe. Now I do believe this came with one of the like larger statue figures or larger Jason Voorhees figures and it even has the blood like soap blade right there. You guys can see the glistening on the blade which I thought was really sweet about this axe. Next up we have a baseball bat accessory to hit dingers out in the yard. Nice dark brown and then we also have another baseball bat here which is sort of a lighter tone and it's slightly smaller so you have more of like a, a different size baseball bat but this one also has more grainy feel to it than this one. This one feels more flat. So you have a dark brown bat and a light brown baseball bat. Definitely could be used for a weapon. Next up we have this bushwhacker I think is what this is. I don't even know. This may not be a bushwhacker but it's just this long and elongated blade right here. It's got the little hook on the end. This came with the part 7 Jason as well. And I'm pretty sure we have like three of these. So you know you could have a whole faction of guys rocking these little blades coming out and beating the hell out of people. So these are pretty cool right there. They have a nice tone to them. I've owned multiples of that figure. So we really should have three of those saw blade things but I only see two for some reason, but there's three of these. And then here's our other saw blade. It's actually broken off the little engine part. The little engine part of this one broke off, but you know, it's still there. Use it as like, a, I don't know, use that one and then act like it got snapped in half or something. I don't know. We have another pitchfork accessory here. I don't know who this came with, but it's a lot shorter and smaller and thinner than our last, you know, pitchfork that we saw. We have a gigantic machete this time. I think this is our first machete in the video, but it is larger. It's got the blood on there. And again, very nice realistic blood going on. Big handle on this thing as well. It probably came with an oversized Jason figure again. Next up is another machete. This one's kind of mid-sized. It does have, you know, blood on it and everything like that. I mean, you're going to see so many damn machetes in this video. Also, I'd like to see if somebody could count all the weapons and count, like, categories. So how many knives do we have? How many machetes do we have? That's something that we kind of do every year. So, you know, you can get started on that. Probably my favorite weapon in the entire video is this scythe. I love this scythe. I can't even remember who it came with, but I love this scythe. I think it came with Ghostface, maybe, from Scream, but it has 
has a really cool and realistic looking blade and then it has this really cool handle going down the side it also had these other like handles that were on it but i cut those off i just thought that it looked more menacing without the handles on it so we have this really big scythe blade which it, again this is probably my favorite weapon in the whole thing that's another thing let me know your favorite weapon from the video at the end next up we have another gigantic machete and this one's almost like it's based in red with like some silver highlights that's how much blood is on this one but it is a very gigantic machete this one's actually bigger than my hand so that tells you how damn big it is it reaches from one edge of the screen to the other next up we have this two-part spear that you can actually clasp together and i think this came with part six jason i think but it's got the nice elongated spear right here i think this was part of a fence or a gate i could be wrong about that but you can you know unport it so you have two different halves here so it can go through somebody and it'll be easier to put in the figure's hands next up we have this i don't know if this is a fire stoker or if this is just another like spear or something like that but it is kind of bent but you know it's a nice black color kind of reminds me of a fire poker but uh, it may not be another day another pitchfork again a little bit change of direction though it's like a little bit thinner but a little bit longer but it is another version of a pitchfork it's got that little hook at the end there but another nice pitchfork for the collection now this one's really cool this is actually a realistic chain or an actual i don't know why i say realistic chain i mean brother that is a chain i don't know what you're talking about but i think this came with the part six and it's supposed to go around his neck i do believe but uh you guys can see there it wraps around the neck and then you're supposed to like sink the jason figure but it is a nice chain this is easily a, this is a very good weapon right here you could easily use the chain it's got this little thing at the end that i use as like a chain knife almost so that's pretty cool Next up is another machete. We got some blood on here. Very thickums. I don't know wh where this thing came from, but it's a nice uh, blood-soaked machete. I don't know why the, the freaking focus is pissing me off. I think it, the focus is doing that because of all these masks and stuff behind the figure, but there's another machete for us. Next up, we have Chucky's little leg shank, which I guess technically is a weapon, but it's also a limb, so you could plug that into the figure, and then he has a knife coming out, so he can shank somebody with it, so that's pretty cool, but it is a weapon. I mean, it's a knife in his leg or his arm, so you have a little shank of a, uh, an arm shank. Next up, we have the Jason video video game version of the machete. That's why it has this weird like flat white color, but that's pretty cool. I think there's also a clear version in here, but I could be wrong about that. I know there's an axe. So here's both versions of the axe. One of them is the re-release or the relaunch. I think this is the OG, like the clear version. And then the relaunch had like this white flat. So these both came with the part three Jason, I do believe from the video game, like the classic video game, not the, not the PlayStation, you know, like the updated video game, but there's two different axes or hatchets. Next up you have almost this like pirate looking sword, but it's kind of short and stubby so I don't really know where this came from but it's kind of a sword but also a knife at the same time I don't really know how to explain this one next up we have the chainsaw that came with Leatherface from his video game I think it was the Atari version and this one I don't really like this figure but it's like the green version you know the whole thing's green and then he has a realistic face not my favorite version but you know it was a cool repaint I guess if you're a fan of that kind of thing and then we have the realistic chainsaw where the handle broke off but it is the yellow and black and it even has the blood spatter on the chainsaw right there, so that's pretty cool. And I think, again, I think the handle did break off of this one, but, uh, you know, it still looks really, really good. And even if you don't have that version, uh, we still have a nice paint job on it. You can easily glue the handle back on, wherever the hell that is. And then the last chainsaw we have is the one from the Ultimate Ash from Evil Dead, and this one's really cool. I like the red colorway. I don't know if I like the yellow or the red better. I kind of like both of them in their own way, but you have, you have the ignition string or, like, the starter string, and then you have the handle on there. Very nice, realistic tones on this, on this chainsaw. Next up, we have the Chucky Yardstick, or good guy's yardstick right here and i guess technically it's not a weapon but i mean it is at the same time right like it, i guess you could say that about any of these right a knife is not created to be a weapon i guess it can be but it has a practical use and then you have you know i guess anything at that point would become a weapon right next up we have another machete got some blood stains on there not too too crazy but it does have some nice blood on there just a crazy machete i don't know why i said crazy i don't know what i'm talking about we have a meat hook i think this came with leather face if i'm not mistaken but this is a nice weapon right here dude i feel like you could do so much damage with this meat hook. I mean, you can do a, a lot of damage with a lot of these, but you know what I'm saying. And then speaking of meat hook, we have a regular hook here. It almost looks like an oversized fish hook, kind of, but it has a nice meat hook on there. Uh, kind of reminded me of Brock Lesnar, giving me Brock Lesnar vibes, but pretty cool. It's got the blood at the end. You know, you could hook somebody and I don't know, you know, you can hook your victims there and, you know, drag them around. Next up, we have this stick accessory, which is also a weapon. I think it's used to like out leverage somebody and like break their face off or choke the heck out of them or I think you like, I think you used it and then you like twist it and the belt like goes into their face or something like that. I can't remember exactly how it went, but I do believe that's what this is. I did not know this was so malleable though. Next up, another machete. You got the like half and half almost, it's like half silver, half red on there, but you got a nice little blood on that machete. Then we're coming back, we got a clean machete. Kind of a weird shape to this one. It's kind of like a medium size, not too small or not too large for this machete. Same thing goes for this one. I don't think it's the exact same mold, but it's very similar to the last one, but it looks like you just bought this one straight out the store. No blood stains or, you know, use 
uses to this one. You got brand new right here. Next up, this is kind of the shape of a machete that I think of. You know, it's got the longer blade. It's kind of got that like oblong shape at the end right there. And then you do have the blood on there. Obviously it is used, but this is kind of the shape I think of when I think of a machete. You know what I just said about that last machete? I feel like this is more of what I think of. You know, it's got that longer blade. Like this is just like a perfect machete. If I had to, if I had to envision a machete, this would be the one. I hope I don't change my answer again. Next up, we have this really short knife right here. It's just a regular old knife. This probably came with Chucky or something. It's very, very short, but it's got nice, uh, nice blood stains on there. Nice little knife. Pocket knife. Not, not, not a pocket knife, but it's more of like a sheath knife. Sheath knife. A sheath knife. Next up, we have a nice little meat cleaver. A little blood on there. Nice little, I almost said pocket sized again. I don't know why the hell I'm trying to get on pocket size. What, what am I trying to put that over for? Another machete right here. Another clean one. I feel, I feel like we've seen this one before. This may be a repeat machete that we've already seen. Another sheath type knife here with a really heavy wood grain pattern there. I think this came with uh, ghost face if I'm not mistaken, but you do have nice blood spatter on there. They do a really good job of capturing that realistic blood look on this knife. And then another knife, we have this light brown kitchen knife here just with some blood stains on it. I believe this one came with Michael Myers, I'm pretty sure. And then just another standard knife. This is kind of like the knife you think of when you think of just a standard knife. Maybe not a steak knife, but if you were thinking of a knife that would probably go in a sheath, this is probably the one you think of immediately. Another meat cleaver. This one's kind of a darker, and this one looks more smaller, to be honest with you, or a smaller style meat cleaver, but it does have a brown handle. Another machete, another clean one, kind of a darker gray here. I mean, we have so many machetes. It's probably just from the number of freaking Jason Voorhees figures we have, but there's another machete. Next up is crazy. We have a syringe here, and I think we have two different syringes. One of these came with somebody, and the other one came with a different figure, but they are very similar. One is more clear, and one has like some sort of potion in it or sleep thing. This one does much better. This one, you guys can see the needle is bent, but on this one, this is really nicely done right here. The plastic, the colors, the details, the needle. You can even see the point in the needle where the serum comes out. That's kind of crazy. Next up, we have a railroad spike with, that is blood-soaked, and I think we have two of these, so I'm wondering if the figure this came with came with two or if we have a repeat figure. We may have a repeat figure here because there are definitely figures we have multiples of, but we have a railroad spike. Next up, we have this hunting rifle. Very cool rifle right here. I like the coloration on it. It's very nice size. This is a good stuff right here, man. I want to get the full thing in here. Very, very good right here. Figure holds it well as well. This is uh, Ash from Evil Dead's rifle. Really like this one. We also have this axe here. Which, again, man, look at those markings in the blade. And then you have the nice wood grain on the handle. Very clean axe right there. Just a clean, just store bought right out the store. Another machete. This one almost looks like it's got claw marks in it, but it is just a, another just standard machete knife. I think this blade came with Chucky, if I'm not mistaken, but you have this like knife that's got all these symbols and stuff like that on there. I think it came with Chucky. I could be wrong, though. Another pickaxe accessory. This one does have some blood on it, though, so we, we know this one's been used for, for some different things, but yeah, just another pickaxe. Next up is a giant knife. I have no idea what figure this came with. I don't know if we have a giant... Like, I don't remember a Jason coming with a giant knife, and we don't have any other giant figures, so I don't know where this came from. Maybe my brother can let me know, but we do have a bloody blade right here on the knife. Just a standard kitchen knife with some blood on it, but it is oversized. Next up, we do have this hand razor blade right here. Definitely would do some damage, man. Man. So we have a like a retractable razor. Next up, we have this like long bread knife almost, like with a brown handle. You can even see the teeth on there. So that one's kind of crazy. Next up, we have another machete, but this one has a, like a little hook at the end of it, and it does have some blood on it. So this one's kind of a different take on a machete. I think this is from the remake, Jason, or the Friday the 13th from like 2009. And I could have swore we had three of these, but it looks like we only have two. They have like this light vanilla style creamish handle with like the darker blade. Another short style machete, you got like the blood here and the silver tip, so it's kind of weird. It's like it stabbed somebody and cleaned the machete or something. Another machete here. I feel like we've seen this one before, but it is kind of stained. You got some blood stain on there and some gray stains. Another kitchen knife. This one has like some droplets on it, but it is kind of another brown knife, but this one kind of tilts backwards, but it is just another standard knife. Another day, another machete, man. Just counting up the machetes just little by little, but another store-bought clean right out the packaging machete. And what the hell, just add two more to the mix. Now these are slightly different, I do believe. I don't think these were the same machete, but yeah, I think they are slightly different, but they are very, very similar as you guys can see. We have another axe or hatchet here. This one has like a dark brown or dark bloody style look to it and it has a dark brown handle, so this one's very muddy and murky looking. Another knife, but this one's slightly bigger. This one has like a orangish handle and then it's got like a longer blade on it, but this is a pretty cool knife. Next up, we have this little metal thing. I don't know what this is. A tool of some kind. I don't really know what to use for this. I just know you could uh, this could do a lot of damage to somebody's skull. Next up is another bread style knife. It's like the exact same mold as the last knife we saw. This one's a little different. We have like a letter opener almost, or it kind of looks like a ballistic knife, but I do believe this is a letter opener. It may be a ballistic 
knife, but I don't know. I'm going to take my chances on the letter opener. I think this is a knife we already saw before, but it is like your black handle knife with some blood stains on it. Another run-of-the-mill standard kitchen knife here with a black handle. Nothing too crazy. Then we come back and we have another brown handle knife that's very similar to the other one. It's a little bit bigger, but we do have another brown handle kitchen knife. Now we have sort of a longer, this almost looks like a fillet knife almost. It's got a bigger black handle, but it does have like a thinner blade on it. It kind of looks like that same brown knife that we've been seeing, but it's in a black handle and it's a little bit thinner maybe. Continuing the knife trend, another standard kitchen knife, but this one has some blood stains on it. All right, this one's kind of unique. We have like a meat cleaver here, but it has like one little dot of blood on it and it's kind of a skinnier blade. So this is probably like a chopping style knife, you know, like chopping up vegetables or onions or something like that. This one's pretty cool. It's a light tube that is shattered in half and then it has a bunch of blood. So, you know, I think Michael Myers like stuck this in somebody's neck, but it has a lot of good sculpts on it and it's nicely detailed. We know we have another double headed axe here, which is pretty cool. Don't know if we've seen this mold before, but it is another axe. Another kitchen knife, more blood stains, and it's kind of smaller, but it does have a dark brown handle on it, but there is definitely some blood on it. I could sell my own damn cutlery with all these knives that I have, man. Another standard black knife. Again, some of these have slight variations to them, but it's very hard to pick up on them if they're not side by side. And would you look at that, Brad? Another knife. We have a dark brown handle and another blood stained kitchen knife, man. Just tons of kitchen knives. I mean, this is starting to get ridiculous. Another kitchen knife, just again, standard black handle, nothing too crazy about it, but we definitely have our litter of pickings on the kitchen knives. Next up, we have a different knife. This one's kind of thinner. I don't really even know what to say to this one, but it does have blood on it. It's kind of another, like, it's definitely thinner and smaller, but I don't know what kind of knife it is. All right, man, changing things up. We do have a revolver-style pistol. It's black. It's got a brown handle on it, and it is a six-shooter, which is pretty cool. I think this came with the Dr. Loomis and Michael Myers two-pack. Next up, we have the harpoon gun from Jason 3, I think, or Friday the 13th 3D, I think is what it was, but yeah, we have a harpoon gun here, and I think we have a few of these. Here's two. I want to say we had three of these. We may have four or five, but I don't know where they are, but this is two different uh, harpoon guns. They're slightly different in color, as you guys can see, or at least the bow part is where the string pulls back. Next up, we have another railroad style spike, and we have another one of these, like, meat hook things. I think this came on pinhead, and then I don't know where this railroad spike came from. We've already seen this, though. Next up, we have a bottle opener accessory, which is pretty cool. I could have swore this thing operated a little bit, but I guess not. Maybe it did, or maybe I'm thinking of a different thing. Another half and half machete, half silver, or half gunmetal gray, and half red for, you know, slicing up guys. Another axe, very similar to ones we've seen before, and we actually have uh, three of the same on this next one. So on this axe, you guys can see we have three of these. They all have like this light cream color handle, but they all have this exact same blade. They have the exact same blood stains, like going down the front side of the handle, or the, at least the first fourth of the handle. So I want to say this one came with the Friday the 13th remake, but I don't know. And here's that third harpoon gun, but it looks like it's missing the tip on there, or maybe... I don't know. I want to say it's supposed to have this long thing on there. Maybe that broke off. I don't know what the hell is going on, but there's another harpoon gun. Next up is another axe, but this one is bloody. It almost looked like, it looks like there's like a painting of a tree in the middle of this one, or at least on this side. It looks like Bob Ross got a hold of that axe. Next up is another meat cleaver. We got some blood on there. It's got the circle in there. I want to say this came with Leatherface, if I'm not mistaken. We have a kitchen knife here. Another kitchen knife. My god, it's a kitchen knife, man. And yet again, another kitchen knife, but this one has a light brown color, man. I hope somebody's tallying this up. I mean, it's crazy. Another style knife. I think this is the exact same mold we've seen before. The wood grain, heavy wood grain on the knife, but it does have blood on it as well. Don't look now, Brad, but I think we have another kitchen knife and another handle. I mean, just, just over and over with the kitchen knives. All right, changing things up. We have this metal iron piece. I have no idea what the hell this is, but it came with Michael Myers. I'm pretty sure he uh, made somebody a victim with this thing, but yeah, you can tell it's heavy. You can do damage with it. I mean, a blunt, a blunt object to the skull. What do you have to say? Next up, we have this little handgun here, a little silver and black handgun. I think this came with Chucky, and I'm pretty sure we're missing a couple pistols here. There's somewhere else in the collection, but uh, we do have a little bit more guns here. Maybe at least one more in this video. Yeah, here it is. You have this black revolver or pistol here, six shooter. Same one we saw before, maybe slightly different. Next up, we have another axe. I think this is the same axe we saw before, the one that's like kind of grungy. It looks like it was left outside or something. Here comes another machete, but this one's kind of a darker gray, but it is kind of smaller and thinner. And then we have another machete, another clean one, uh, not as like bright and silver, but it is, uh, it's got the gunmetal gray color going on. Switching it up, we got a hammer here. This is the, uh, the Chucky hammer. It's got the good guy's logo on it, but nice little stubby hammer. You know, hammers can do a lot of damage. All right, here's one that's interesting. We have this fire poker. Now, I know we thought the other one was a fire poker. This one actually is a fire poker, I can tell. So, nice size here. I don't know how well a figure could hold this because of how thin it is, but it is a fire poker. Here we go, just a standard run-of-the-mill axe. Got the dark handle, and then you have the blood tips there. 
Don't know what figure this came with either. I mean, when you have all these weapons that are so similar, it's very hard to tell unless it has something distinct about it. Another machete. I mean, what does the machete count now, man? You also have some more blood stains on there, but we have another machete. I can't even remember which machetes we've seen and which ones we haven't. Next up, we have a hand saw. This is a manual saw, not a chainsaw. So you actually have to do the work on this one, but it does have some blood on there. I think this one also came with Leatherface. We have another axe, same one, the Bob Ross style axe. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on because it looks like a tree from Bob Ross on the hand or on the blade right there at the top. Next up, we just have a flare. I don't know where this came from. Not really a weapon, but I guess it could be used as one, but we do have a flare with some cool smoke on it. Nice sculpt on this one as well. Next up, we have another fire poker. A little bit different there. This almost looks like it could be used as a hairpin or something like that for a for a person's head. But yeah, we have another fire poker. Slightly larger than the last one. And don't look now, but we have another fire poker. So we literally have a collection of fire pokers over here in the horror action figure weapon collection. I think this one is just one of Pinhead's knives, or like little throwing knives, or you know, how you can control them and like throw them into people. Very tiny accessory, but we do have a scalpel right here. I think this came in the Dr. Loomis and Michael Myers 2-pack as well, but very intricate details on this scalpel. You're kidding me. We have another fire poker, but it's got the white handle and it actually has blood on it. So this one was actually used in combat, but another fire poker. Next up, we have another hammer. This one has some blood details on it, but yeah, just a nice light wood, just regular style hammer. Look at that. It's almost like the exact same hammer, but it's clean version. I think I put the, I added the blood myself on that last hammer, but this one is what it looks like when it's just meant out of the box. Just a standard clean hammer. We have a meat hook accessory again, so we have another meat hook to add to the collection. I just think that if you had dual wield meat hooks like this, man, you could deal so much damage, I feel like. Next up, we have a wrench with some blood on it. Kind of flat, not as much like shimmer to it, but it does look like a good wrench right here. It's got, you know, nice sculpt at least. Next up is a railroad spike. It's a standard spike that goes into the ground. Pretty thick, uh, not as long, but it does have a little bit of thickness to it. Now this is a much more realistic wrench. It's got like the gunmetal gray in there with the red tones. You guys can see like the paint chipping away. This is a much better wrench in my opinion, but you guys know wrenches are pretty damn heavy. You could definitely do some damage with a wrench. Next up we have another hammer, but this one is completely bloody and it has like a gray style handle, but it does have, you know, blood soaked. It is a blood soaked hammer, but add that to our collection of hardware. We have another one of these things, but it has no blood on it, so I don't know the story there, but it is another one of the... I have no... What is this tool called, my god? Alright, so now we have three meat hooks to deal damage with. Nobody wants to see these, man, I'm telling you. We have another little hook accessory. I think this came with Pinhead, if I'm not mistaken, but it is almost like a little hook. It's got some little teeth on it as well. We have a nice ice pick accessory. Very blunt. Got a little hook used to it, too. This is absolutely... This could absolutely impale you, but it's got a nice brown hand on it. Nice sculpture to it. And then we have another handsaw, but the, the blood's not very realistic. It just looks kind of flat and cartoony, but at least the weapon is nicely sculpted, and uh, it's got a nice shape to it and everything like that, but we have a manual handsaw. And then last but not least, we have some fire accessories, which are just standard fire. You have the translucent, or the transparent, and then you have the other one. This is kind of opaque, but not as cool. You guys can let me know. You like this version of the fire like piece better, or do you like the uh, this version right here? Honestly, it's a toss-up. I could enjoy either one, but that that is every single weapon, man. I went through every single one of them, dumped them all out there, and went through them, but that is your full case. I like to put the weapons in this case right here so I can keep up with all of them, but that is the full collection, man. But that wraps up 2023's version of the Massive Horror Action Figure Weapons Collection video, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know a lot of people like to sit back and just relax and listen and watch me go weapon by weapon and talk about them and showcase them and show the differences between all of them. So if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely let me know down below. But that is pretty much going to wrap up this video, man. I hope you guys do have a happy Halloween and a happy rest of October. Before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate the Patreon members of our channel. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support on the channel. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below. But outside of that, that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your favorite weapon down in the comment section below from all of these selected. I'm getting the hell out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.